Hello y'all. Welcome to part 5 of my Swiss Confederation Edward VIII Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 4, the Commune of France backed down on the Upper Savoy issue thanks to the aid of Austria. Now our big ally is at war with Hungary over the internal affairs of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. And so we're going to aid the Habsburg Kaiser now in order to repay the favor, so to speak. So the Swiss military has moved toward Vienna, where we will help push the Austrians back to Budapest and restore the authority of the Austrians there. Land auction. Let's go unlock something now. We're going to unlock, say, let's just go with Grand Assault. All right, then. So continue pushing here. Modified government first. Go to partial mobilization, since we can do that, and push with the army of Switzerland into Budapest and Hungary. We have the Austrians and their allies attacking from the south. Also, Serbia is at war with Illyria, and this whole conflict with the Hungarians is kind of bad for Illyria, since the Austrians and the rest of the Duno Adriabon, that is the Austrian faction, can't really help them for some reason. We can't join their war at all. So push into Austria now. I mean, Hungary, come on, get these divisions up here more. Maybe we need to make a bigger front line. I don't know. Let me see what we can do. Be more aggressive, please, for Switzerland. We need to win this war. Also, one thing I need to go ahead and do probably is turn off something in the Decisions tab. So push forward here. And we're pushing from the north and the south. And let's go to Decisions now. Turn off player-led peace conferences because I don't want to sort of deny my ally territory that they could get out of this peace conference, potentially. So continue here. Come on. Push forward. Reach Budapest. Go forward, be aggressive, be as aggressive as possible to win this battle here. Win this war so Illyria can focus on Serbia, who is just rolling in. Why is there, there's Hungarians pushing here in the northern region above, say, the coast to reach Montenegro. They're in Montenegro. Keep pushing here, though. Get the Budapest. It's within our grasp. Move on to Budapest. Capture for the Austrians in the name of the Kingdom of the Swiss. Come on. The Kingdom of Switzerland. Now, Army Command Focus, I mean Military High Command. Let's go with, I say, I don't know, forget it actually. So we took Budapest. And what is the next place we have to capture? Capture more of Central Hungary. So move in there, capture these places in what you could call Transylvania. Our allies are moving in from Galicia, Lodomeria, some, but we need more territory under the control of the Habsburgs. Move forward, take Swissgad. Swissgad? Capture that, please. Move in. Don't stop attacking their lines. And let me get a trade for our field marshal, Henry Gosson. He is a field marshal, so I may need to change what he's doing with our army. So let's get a general then. Get Ugon Bircher and have have Henry Gosson. He can be the field marshal there. And now Greece is joining the Entente. Okay then. Puerto Rico and Costa Rica just had a peace. I think no, Puerto Rico and Canada just had some kind of peace conference. Keep pushing here. Get the Shajbatka. I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. They're very interesting names. I just can't pronounce them right. Moving here, we're going to have to take more of these cities. And did we take that one place? That they were, oh, Pex is not fallen yet. Great. Come on, take it. Serbia is rolling into Illyria so much. And they're getting more into what could be considered part of Croatia. Yeah, that is not going to end well for Illyria. I mean, they're going to lose to war, it seems. They're just outnumbered so much by Serbia, who earlier... And they've earlier... In, well, they defeated Bulgaria a while back, so this is just bad. Here's a new division, Panama capitulated. So Panama was not as fortunate as Costa Rica. No, yeah, Puerto Rico, I mean, when it comes to Canadians. And there's the war. I don't, well, there's a peace conference. I don't want nothing. So I'm just, I'm going to hit done. I want, yeah, I'm just going to hit done. Hit done, we're not doing anything here. That is that. So let's bring our units back to our border. We can't do anything with Illyria, sorry. By bullet or by bayonet is done. Move these units over here now, good. So the Austrian Empire itself is bigger. I guess they just consolidated their power over Hungary or we're gonna split them off again as their own country, I don't know. And let's complete resist to the end. And it says here in the focus tree, it says, even after the battles are lost and the armies are driven from the field, our enemies cannot rest easy. It is the duty of the Swiss people to resist in everything they can do and to stop the enemy in every way they can. And now Guatemala has joined the Liberal Pact in Central America. All right, and how is Illyria faring? They're going to try and get more pushback, hopefully. Please, come on, Illyria. 
is okay there's still just fine Illyria so Serbia is probably going to win that war unfortunately at least Illyria is not going to be busy with Hungary anymore so I think he got some land from defeating Hungary or like pieces of Banat or something maybe yeah that looks like a losing effort for Illyria sadly since the Austrian Empire can't really help them military high command focus let's get the army high command artillery do that good and how many divisions do we have right now we're gonna have one come out soon how's equipment looking doing fine there don't put any more in the training queue just keep defending the areas we have and let me I gotta crack down on syndicalists when possible once we have enough army I mean command power Illyria is still losing ground here they're losing so many battles they're losing gradually at this point at least it's not a total rush compared to say what it was prior and can the can I help my allies at all here we have 52% world tension I can't justify on anyone unfortunately so no we can't help take on Carl the second here or Charles the second of Romania or Alexander the second and it's just rough for Illyria they keep losing ground I mean they're holding but they're still losing in the long term you can just see all the red bubbles red bubbles are bad in hearts of iron for they're very bad it shows that you're losing or whatever you're doing is failing like these counter offensives here they're just not getting off the ground and they're just losing resources from these failed attacks and they're having to defend afterwards because those those assaults use up organization for their divisions and now the princely federation has capitulated over in india they have been annexed i think by the baratai commune and whatever other states are in the indian subcontinent now let me complete this here. We'll start researching the Southorn S2 281 millimeter MW33 slash 38. That's some kind of support equipment three. I'm pretty sure. So this is just a big mess. I'm just keeping a close eye on Illyria. I apologize on reporting about it while just talking about it so much, but just a bit, it's the big war going on that I can see the details of the best. So Serbia is pushing there. They're reaching more into Krajina now. That is bad for Illyria. How much war score, how many victory points do they still control before they have to surrender? They have, let me see here, they have, okay, the Serbian Illyrian War. They have to lose, they have to have 20% or less. They currently control 44% of their victory points. So yeah, that is just rough for them. They will have to count on the Dono Adriabon intervening in some way to get saved here. But honestly, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. And in the case they do lose, we're just going to see a massive Serbia probably in the Balkans that would rival our timelines, Yugoslavia, in terms of size, except they wouldn't really have Slovenia. And resist to the end is done. Now in the focus tree, let us do this here. The new Swiss army, and this will give us a research slot and a cost reduction for land doctrine. Through reform and new military leadership, the Swiss army of today is all but unrecognizable compared to the army that marched in drill but a few short years ago. And here's some more declarations. Don't worry about those. This new army is tough, veteran, and ready to take on the world. So Switzerland versus the world. Here we go. Well, with our Austrian allies, anyway. So now, let me turn player-led peace conferences back on. Get that done now. Yes, that is done. Good. I may have to turn it off later, perhaps. I don't know. And doctrines available. Navy doctrine. Let's, I don't know. What, what can we do here, honestly? I mean, the mighty Swiss Navy. What could the Swiss Navy use? Trade interdiction? So let's go trade interdiction. I mean, I imagine that would be the best option we have. And why do I keep seeing these Italian, these Socialist Republic of Italy troops constantly? Maybe it's because our allies have intel or Navy moving through the Adriatic constantly. I'm not going to worry about it too much. And how is this division doing here? The 20th Division will be deployed soon. Good. And can I deploy this division here at all? Do I have enough equipment even? A little bit. So let me work on this division here. Actually, no. Let's give all of our divisions artillery. We'll give them support artillery and give them support equipment. And then Salindia is now going to fight the Dutch East Indies or something. The engineer company. Support artillery. Good. Might as well do this in peacetime instead of while we're at war. Because then the logistics of all that becomes a lot more difficult. So how many artillery pieces do we need? We're doing good there. We have a... We have a surplus of those currently. We do need a little bit of support equipment, though, I will admit. Yeah, we need more factories on that. I don't know if we can sustain having support equipment and artillery so much. I may need to switch over to, in the land auctions, the superior firepower. But that is what I usually do, anyway. 
I don't know. I could do Grand Battle Plan since we're to switch. We're to King with Switzerland, and we have so many land force. So the entrenchment bonuses could be very useful. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just stay on Grand Battle Plan because it's something I usually don't play around with too much in Hearts of Iron Four. And oh my goodness, those poor units are fighting to the death in Vojvodina, even though even though they could relocate if they wanted to. And I guess the Austrians are not going to give up Hungary, so it's going to be firmly part of the Austrian Empire. Part of it's just going to be the Austrian Empire now. They don't they don't know Adriabon is just ran by the Austrian Empire. There's no more Hungarian portion of it effectively. And the Emirate of Cyrenaica has joined the Cairo Axis. Okay, and now it looks like the Serbian the Belgrade Pact forces consisting of Serbia and Romania are just outside Sagrab, the capital of the, well, capital of Illyria, and there's a nationalist takeover in the Netherlands, and if Sagrab goes down, that's going to be it. Oh, they do control Slovenia. Huh. Well, I think they control part of it anyway. Yeah, but anyway, if they do take, I thought they didn't control Slovenia, I didn't see that. I just didn't notice it for some reason. The new Swiss army is done, but yeah, if they lose Sagrab, that war might be over for Illyria. And now the Baratai Commune is going to fight the Dominion of Delhi. And the Baratai Commune is syndicalist or socialist or totalist. Has to be one of the three, typically. And the Dominion of Delhi is part of the Entente faction, consisting of the French national state in North Africa. And what can I do here? Let's do the National Canton Development Initiative to get some civilian factory research bonuses or just construction speed to be faster. But yeah, the Entente faction is now going to be stuck fighting in India for some time, I imagine. Because in my experience, well, the Bartai Commune, India is a massive place in terms of population. So that will play a part for the Bartai Commune having tons of troops and tons of manpower to fall back upon. Even though, yeah, there we go. So do they have Nepal on their side? I guess they do. No, I don't know. How do they get up here then? I wonder what happened. Wait, is Tibet on their side? I'm confused. How did these Bartai Commune troops get all the way up here in Shimla? Was it like kind of... Some kind of revolt or something? I don't know. Very big mess there. And doctrines available, land doctrine. Let us unlock infiltration for the grand battle plan, land doctrine, good. Now, modify the government, what can we do? Let's go to limited conscription. Can we go to extensive conscription? Yes, we can. That will raise up the... That will give us more recruitable population, but at the same time, that will make training time take longer, which is fine by me. That could give us possibly more time to manufacture more support equipment since we need that. And the fall of Batavia has occurred in what could be considered Indonesia. Well, I guess in our world it's Indonesia. In this timeline, Indonesia isn't really a thing yet currently. And now, oh my goodness, Illyria survived. That's all I can say. Sagrab is holding, which is the most important city. They still have the Port of Zardar, maybe under threat soon. Same with Gojpik. And say, I think Karlovac, Karlovac is going to be lost soon. Yeah, that's not good for them. They took Split, Serbia did. So they're not going to slow down anytime soon. They're still holding Sagrab. They should really just focus as much as possible on defending that. Why are they defending Hungary so much? Oh my goodness gracious. Just relocate troops. And these guys here got surrounded effectively. And they're being attacked by three. No, yeah, three Serbian divisions. No, now four Serbian divisions and now three reserves. They're just, they're being surrounded. And it looks like there is potential for the Illyrian lines to be split in half if they lose if they lose Fiume. And if they lose Fiume, that will just create a situation where it's almost unwinnable. So Grab's going to fall soon. I wonder if they're going to have any more land to fall back to. I don't know. I really don't know. I am curious. Once they lose Sagrab, that could be it. There's some more in China there. And how's this division doing? These guys are going to be deployed soon. Good. How's supply looking in our situation here? Let me go to Railways. Do I need to improve this at all? Maybe. Yes, build some stuff going into Upper Savoy. I'll do that now, just to have it done in the future, probably. So that's going to be finished in a little bit. Just have to give it some time. Yeah, they're just struggling here. Now we, well, now we have some more advanced infantry equipment. Good, and the National Canton Development Initiative is done. Let me now research this here. What can we do? Get Construction 3 started. And outdated equipment production, change that, get some AK-38s, make those. And do we have some decisions now? Yes, we do for, say, for resources and stuff in the fate of Holt Savoy. Do something about that to get some stability. And let's open a bunch of mines to get ourselves some steel in Switzerland. And we have a currently, we currently have a steel problem 
in terms of resources. Yeah, we're in the negative there. We're in a deficit. Sawgrab is still holding. Oh, yeah, what I thought would happen happened. And now Illyria is holding out in the Port of Zadar, but not for much longer. I think they ran out of equipment. That played a part, too, in that war. So in the focus tree, what do I do here? I don't know. And now Illyria is done for. They're gone. So now the Austrian Empire has lost their Swiss National Day. Nice. But now the puppet of Austria and the Balkans is gone, essentially. It's all part of Serbia. Very big Serbia. That creates a weird situation, doesn't it? I mean, now the Romanians could potentially in the future attack for some land in Hungary, or I don't know, they could attempt to try that. They may want Transylvania. So we could possibly see some kind of conflict in the future between the Dono Adria Bond and the Belgrade Pact with Serbia and Romania. And if that does occur, the Kingdom of Switzerland will help the Austrian Empire out. If that does occur, who knows if it will or not. It usually does in many cases in Kaiser Redux just cause of Romania's land demands or just their territorial claims. And with that said, I think, well, Computing Machine just got finished researching. I think I'm going to end what is part five of my Swiss Confederation Edward VIII Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. A link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.